basically got everything off. You got the upper control arms and the lower control arms and the hub and rotors. And yeah, those uh, bushings are gonna be a pain to play. So it's gonna get new upper control arms and I got those lower control arm bushings out. That's kind of easy and then Got to get new bearings for the hubs and new bushings, shocks, wheel bearings, ball joints, sway bar bushings, upper control arms. And I painted the sway bar, cleaned it up and painted it. Got the spindles cleaned up. I just need to get the more rust out of it so I can paint it. Then I cleaned up all the bolts with the parts washer, make them look all nice and assembly be easier, kind of. And that's about it. Still gotta take the tie rods and stuff off and replace all that under there. And then clean all this with purple power and probably paint it, get new brake pads. Uh, all of that make it look all nice and basically have everything new and it'll last for at least another 20 years or 30 
test drive number two. been about a month of driving it and it seems to be doing good I didn't p record myself putting the car pins in and tightening those uh, nuts on the upper control arm I think I heard somewhere on a video that you're supposed to have it sitting on the ground and then tighten them up to yeah so I, that's what I did I had it sitting on the ground and then I tightened them up and then, I guess it's just doing good. There's an oil leak I still need to figure out that I can't find. And I also didn't record replacing the Pittman arm or putting the hubs and brakes on, but on the Pittman arm, I had to get a little bit of heat and Pittman arm puller from Harbor Freight and it came off and then I cleaned up the little grooves and threads with the wire wheel and then stuck it back on put anti-seize which you're probably not supposed to do but I did and then just putting the hubs on and brake pads and putting the caliper on is just all common sense probably find a YouTube video on it and I just compressed the caliper with the c-clamp and the old brake pad to push the fluid back and then put the brake pad on and slid it over the rotor but yeah everything's holding up and on the lower ball joints um, I had a mechanic shop press the lower ball joints on both sides I don't know if my press wasn't strong enough or I just couldn't get it to go in straight, so I got to the shop, press them in. Other than that, I pressed in the bushings. And the upper control arms came with the ball joint pressed in the bushings. So that was nice. Other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. And on packing the wheel bearings, one tub of this from O'Reilly's. Did all four of them, put brand new bearings and you just get some in your hand and then start scraping at it and, and uh, until the grease gets packed in there. Should be a video on that too, but I was just letting you know that.